we're here with Chris Hahn, and he's here to talk about the American Piano Quartet. Absolutely. So please tell us, uh, what can people expect from um, what's going on? Absolutely. Well, this is our uh, second big concert in the Celebrate Piano series at the School of Music. Um, and we bring in a guest artist. We bring in actually three guest artists every year. We also have our big Pianissimo event, which happened in October to great success. So in November, we like to bring in a guest, um, and we put them in the Denison Theater, which is a huge venue, of course. Most of our other events are in the recital hall. So we're talking 1,100 seats, so uh, buy your tickets. Um, <laughs> but um, at the, so we bring in these, these great artists. We had Anderson and Rowe two years ago and just had just resounding success. Phil Auberg last year, phenomenal Montana pianist. And then this year we have the American Piano Quartet. So we literally have two grand pianos on stage, um, four pianists, so we have eight hands going crazy. Um, and these guys are really the preeminent ensemble of that makeup, of that genre. And uh, they've had works written for them. They've really um, sort of created the genre within it. Uh, so they've continued to add pieces to it. And nobody does it better. So uh, it's electric. It's exciting. These guys are supreme and <clears throat> really sublime pianists, all, all four of them. And where are they coming from? It's a great question. They actually are local. They live, well, they live in, uh, one of them is at Boise State. University and the other three teach at Brigham Young in Provo. Oh, they're so they're actually regional, mm -hmm. but they're international, you know, so it just so happens. And we're friends with um, Del Parkinson, um, is a good friend, and then Jeffrey Shumway is one of the other pianists, and <clears throat> I've gotten to know him. He actually, his wife lives in Corvallis and her family. So this is sort of like coming home for him. He's a dynamite pianist, great arranger and, and musician um, and composer. We did some of his works at Pianissimo this year. Mm -hmm. So, and so all of their works, are they going to be original pieces? Uh, they are not. Some of them are written for them. They okay. have a, um, a fantasy on uh, the theme is from Carmen, that phenomenal opera. Mm. Really great, yeah, a great, great arrangement. They also have a Scott Joplin uh, Rhapsody, uh, you know, sort of a, a mashup, if you will, any, uh, also uh, written for them. Any Bach? You know, there's no Bach. Ooh. There's no Bach. But there's some list, you know, Franz Liszt, that phenomenal, you know, pianist rock star from the 1800s, you know. Uh, so what he could do with one piano requires, you know, four pianists to do with two pianos anymore, but um, something like that. So, um, but this is a great event, and we love our November event because it's also when we bring in our uh, children. Oh, and uh, so we try to do a lot of community outreach with Celebrate Piano Series. The Downtown Pianos is kind of part of what we do with the Keyboard Society and, and all of that. And so um, we bring in, through our own connections and reaching out to schools, um, uh, 900 school children wow. for a concert on Tuesday morning at 10.30. <clears throat> and these are from outlying Missoula schools. I mean, we do get Hellgate Elementary because mm -hmm. they're not in MCPS. MCPS kind of offers enough things to their yeah. kids, you know, yeah. through the SPARK program and such. So we're really quite happy to go out and offer other things. So we have Arlie and Superior and Ronan, Polson. Mm -hmm. So we really try to go to a really broad array, and they're thrilled to come. It's their third year being invited, and so we're just thrilled to offer this to them. Um, so that's on Tuesday at 10:30, and that's kind of a kind of a private yeah, event. Yeah, that. kind of a private event. But they love it, and these guys are ready to do a, a, a bang up children's show. They're thrilled to do it. Awesome. And then Wednesday night will just be phenomenal. I mean, it'll be an amazing display of, of artistry, pianism, fun, great music. Uh, four pian, you know, two pianos, four pianos. That that can really start to sound like. And a so symphony, they just like you know? sit right next to each other. They right? literally do. Yeah, it's literally like two people playing duets, but times two, you know, yes. uh, you know, you know, a duet times two. So, so how much are tickets? So this is part of our Keyboard Society, okay. uh, which w actually won a national award last year for our uh, the activities that we do. So it, everything's a fundraiser. It all goes back into the into the pot, and that all goes to help our students with their activities. Um, uh, general admission is 25. Okay. Uh, seniors are 20. And students who I really want to encourage, you know, to come uh, to hear it and get inspired. Uh, those are ten. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. So, so who do you? What do you hope that people take away from hmm. this concert and also the kids? <clears throat> you know, I guess in general, the Celebrate Piano series we created it started it up five years ago to just bring really great artists, sometimes our dear friends as well, to Missoula, mm -hmm. to just sort of show that the piano is vibrant. It's vital. It's, I mean, of course I'm biased, but it's, it's the greatest <laughs> instrument. You literally can be a symphony with two people, you know, at a piano. Um, and so, I, I, what do I want people to take away from? Just that piano is alive and well. I guess I have this vision in my mind, you know, along with the downtown pianos that, you know, sort of Missoula becomes sort of 
Piano USA or something, you know, Piano Town USA. That's, a, that's <laughs> sort of a private dream. But um, you know what I mean? Just so people just are in, in, uh, enthused by it, yeah. enthralled by it, um, and that they just really kind of get into it and go, yeah, that is awesome. And if there's students who are studying piano, they are encouraged. If students want to study piano or are thinking about it, why not? Yeah. And for those parents, lots of people have played the piano in their day. If I had a nickel, for the number of people that said, ah, oh, if only my, my parents didn't let me quit. Yeah. It's yeah. always on the parents. Yep, it's it really is. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, never did the parents come to the student who was practicing hard and say, you know what, Billy, it's time to quit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, so I think it, No uh, son of mine is playing piano. That's <laughs> it. You're off. Get back out on that plane. So I think if we, um, I think that, I think that's really what it is. I think it's just getting the parents inspired and, and maybe recalling a time when they were playing and they were like, you know, gosh, I really wish I could play. The really great news is, is my own private studio is as healthy as it's been in my 13 years here. I've got, so it's happening, you know, and my colleagues in town who teach, they all have very robust studios. So there's a lot of good things going on in this town, and we just want to support that. And so are there different styles of piano playing? Oh my gosh. Okay, so what's your favorite style? <laughs> oh geez, here we go. Um, <laughs> When people ask me my favorite composer, it's Beethoven. You mm -hmm. know, my favorite piano style, I gotta say, one thing that I always counted myself, I feel like it's who I am today and why it is, and it's who I was then. I was always about diversity, I was always about experience. Mm -hmm. So I never said no to anything. Okay. You wanna play for the choir? Sure. Do you wanna play in the jazz band? Absolutely. I had a rock and roll band in high school, you know, playing in bars when I was 16, you know, this kind of thing. Um, whatever it takes, playing for musicals, playing for Broadway, playing for whatever, um, playing in orchestras, you know, I play piano with the Missoula Symphony. So whatever it takes, I have a favorite style, depends on the day. Okay. If I'm driving in my car, it's probably, you know, some rockabilly, you know, Billy Joel was one of my, speaking of Billy, you know, <laughs> Billy Joel was really one of my favorites growing up. I really count playing his music as a young, student as what really helped my sight reading. Awesome. It's really what allowed me to become a better, a very proficient sight reader. Because I knew the tunes and I wanted to be Billy Joel ultimately. So, <laughs> uh, Elton John, yes, it? Bruce yeah. Hornsby, phenomenal. You know, John Legend, beautiful style. You know, awesome. Alicia Keys, great work, you know. I love um, it. Whatever, you know, it's kind of like picking my favorite of my four children, you know? Yeah, yeah. You better not have an answer, yeah. I guess, is sort of the right response. Yeah. So, um, one more time, let's, uh, mm -hmm. let's pitch it and Absolutely. where can people find more information? Fantastic. So, the concert is next Wednesday, November 16th at 7 30 p.m. It's in the Denison Theater. Uh, you can get tickets at the box office, 243 4581. Uh, Grizz Ticks is a nice way to go, uh, getting into the modern age, so online, umt.edu slash You can find the Celebrate Piano uh, series tile and click through. Uh, you can get them at the night of the show at the Denison Theater as well. Um, so those are sort of the pertinent, that's the pertinent stuff, I think. Great. Yeah, Thank absolutely. you very much. My pleasure, you guys. Great to meet you. Is there anything else you want to let us know before we let you go? I think that's it. Just come and support piano in Missoula. It's a great thing, and, and we like to offer this for you. Uh, to you, for you, and hopefully uh, you, you know, people celebrate yeah. it, enjoy it like we do. Awesome. Right. Yeah. Well, thanks. Thanks, guys. Great to see you. We'll be right back after this, everyone.